J Molly and Patty. I don't know what's going on. It's just tense. I can't even hear the conversation, but I can just see from the facial expressions, and I'm like, you. Yeah. Ha ha, please. So I vented to Patty Monroe one day about my friend that she was involved with. And she went straight to that friend and told her everything I said and spiced it up to 100%. Nah, bro, I didn't have any respect for her after that. So when I saw at that party, I was like, what the hell are you even doing here, bro? I only want to see your face. But we talked it out, you know, we got through it. I think those people are your friends because of the way that you spoke about him. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And even if you did that for him, I told you that day, when you do something for somebody, you don't throw it in people's faces. You don't go brag about it to other people. Not brag. No, okay, 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 let me, sorry, let me rephrase. You don't go and air out people's dirty laundry. If you do something, you do something out of the goodness of your heart, you understand? I get you. And, it's, and this that is more was... of a business thing, bro. It's like, this is a business thing. We did work together. So I'm, it's not a person, like, it is personal involved. But this was a business thing. We worked together and he me over. And you, you probably heard his side, you don't know my side. I paid for everything for six months. But he showed me receipts. Bro, I paid for. He what? even called his girl, I paid put her on he, speaker, he and asked her the K, same bro. question. He gave me 30K. I spent like 60, 70K. I saved his life. I was paying for his levies, I was paying for his water and lights. His Rent, him on girlfriend going on a date, him eating, that was me, bro. I paid for our to do our work together. He kept promising me he's gonna show me, gonna show me, gonna show me. Never showed me. I learned nothing. At the end of it, I sent him money to go gamble. When I get kicked out of his apartment, now I must find my own place. He says, no, uh, and in two weeks, we're gonna stay in Stain City. We're gonna be good. So I'm waiting on this mother to get me there, because that's the promise. And I'm trusting him because I did some for him. Mm. We had a whole future ahead of us. We were like mates, we were like right hand men. I remember. And then, I sent him money to go gamble, 600 Rand. He goes and he wins 2.5 million. I saw that. Doesn't hit me up, goes straight to the palace with his girlfriend while I'm still chilling with no place to stay at this time because I've spent all my money on him. He's at the palace living it up, nothing. I have to go to his house and beg him, like, bro, come on, do you see me? Do you remember me? Like, pay me my money. Two days later, he sends me 30K. So now I'm getting death threats from this guy telling me he wants to kill me, everything. And I just was like, bro, but I was venting to you out of like, you know? I thought we had a certain, we chilled the whole day. I thought we had a connection. When my mom was in the hospital and I needed money from him, I begged him just for like a 1K, 2K so I can contribute to my mom. Mm. I don't have any money, I'll show other friends. I'm thinking, you're my friend, what about you, bruh? No, dog, no ways. He says he's gonna find me, I'm, just, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm at the residency, he knows I'm there. He can pull up on me anytime. I think you guys have a long you But I forgive you. I knew you were gonna tell him anyway. Forgive you me. You me. Keep your forgiveness. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong, sir. I thought I could be vulnerable with you and vent to you about my life and tell you how I was done wrong. And you go straight to the man and tell him exactly what I said and you spiced it up a hundred times. Now he wants to kill me. But I will take the forgiveness and I will relish in it. But what I'm saying is, I think it was a big misunderstanding. And moving forward, I feel like you should have a real, mature, genuine sit down with him and just talk this out. All right, check it out. So this is what I'm looking for on the final checks. The cars. The cars got to be all white, supercars. It's strictly Ubers only. And you should know that because it's an invite-only party. And I told you guys, don't be trying to bring them cars and park it outside. You got Jay Molly pulling up. You know, the little young is crazy. I'm a little bit worried about him. <laughs> Shady Nicole, probably not. They're probably trying to, you know, make one of these. Uh, uh, Younger, and of course, Money Bad Dude and Gigi LeMay. We're at All White. Dallas, All White. This is my first All White, um, because I'm not old, like everybody else here. Um, and I'm excited, of course, I'm best dressed in my off-white. Yeah, let's see what the vibes have in store. I don't know, I'm scared. Hey, Liz. <laughs> yeah. I am with 
my girl in Bali. We've just pulled up to the one of the most talked about events every year, and it's Deleuze's all white party. Listen, I have never seen a lineup so epic. I saw DJ Fresh, I saw DJ Capital. The DJs are amazing. They're some of our boys, and we're having a good time. all-white man it's the annual all-white it's my first time here in about three years I haven't been around in the city I've been performing so like I'm pretty stoked to be here you know right now I'm at Deleuze all-white party with my boy Louis this is the first time Deleuze has ever invited me to his all-white because I specifically called him out and said bro if you don't invite me to this all-white there's gonna be problems All right, ladies and gentlemen, the day has finally arrived. It is the LES Annual All White Pool Party 2023. Check it out. This party's been going on at my crib for about 12 to 15 years now. I'm not there, but uh, we setting up. I'm at the barbershop getting fresh to death. <laughs> 